Hey everyone, Spencer from 45 Drives with another Tuesday Tech Tip. Uh, today we're going to be covering file indexing in Mac. So, um, as some of you may know, Macs have kind of some weird interactions with Samba. Um, the Spotlight feature in Mac, which is the little like search bar and finder, just doesn't work in Samba shares. Um, that's because Mac is using a like proprietary hidden file in order to do that indexing. Traditionally, the only solution to this uh, would be to create that index locally. So all of your Mac users would need to have a full copy of the index of all of the data on your server. Um, as you can imagine, that was kind of a nightmare to manage, um, as well as just like storage capacity, because you're keeping such huge data files on every single one of your Macs. Um, but more recently, as we've started deploying Rocky, and more importantly, started to use a newer version of Samba, uh, we have access to what's called um, Elasticsearch Spotlight Indexing. So basically, rather than needing that local Mac, we can just supply an index that's generated on the server to Samba, and Samba can pass it to the Mac. So before we get into that, I'm just going to show you kind of what Spotlight and Finder looks like, and the expected behavior of just a default with no indexing at all. So as we can see, uh, we're just team viewered into our lab Mac here, and I'm in a Samba share that I've called test. Um, in this share, if I search and select this test share, um, I just can't search anything. The files will not come up. And that's because there's no actual index to educate Spotlight where data is located. Um, so let's get into the actual fix for this and then how we can implement it into our Mac environment. All right, so back in our Linux terminal, where I'm much more happy in, to be frankly honest, um, we need to install a couple things. First, we need to install Elasticsearch. Uh, so to do that, we're going to import their GPG key and then actually add their repo to our uh, YUM repository. Um, as a note, it'll only ever work, well, at least for now, on YUM because we need Rocky in order for this newer Samba version uh, to actually work. We don't deploy it with Ubuntu yet. So we're just going to go ahead and add in this repo and then start installing Elasticsearch. Um, Elasticsearch is kind of a beefy program, so this install will take a little bit, but we'll just skip through it for you guys. So we're back, it's all installed. Uh, all we need to do is actually enable the uh, system D service for Elasticsearch now, uh, so we get it on reboot. So we'll go ahead and get that enabled, um, and then of course start it. Um, again, Elasticsearch is a pretty beefy program, so it actually takes a little bit to start as well, because it's generating uh, all the config files it needs and all of the uh, very complex databases Elasticsearch use in order to actually present an index out to clients. So we'll skip through that as well. And now we can see Elasticsearch is up and running. Uh, we can check our status of Elasticsearch just to make sure, and we can see it's running fine. Uh, the next step to this is, well, now we have Elasticsearch, which can maintain an index. We need something to give it an index. So this tool here, uh, FS2ES Indexer, is just a file indexer. So we'll go ahead and unzip that and run its uh, Python 3 setup script. Um, basically just like a little install script, it'll go ahead and generate all of the information we need. So once we run that Python 3 installer I just talked about, and we can see it's going to run through and create a ton of directories, a bunch of sim, -like, sim links, uh, copying a ton of files. We now have our indexer basically up and running. All we need to do is make an actual directory for its like config files to rest in. So we'll make that uh, this file here, fs2es indexer in Etsy, and then we'll copy the like default config uh, over into that directory as just a config.yaml file. Um, so once that is done, we're basically set up on the indexing side of things. So we'll jump into Houston now and start actually looking at um, what our share is going to look like, what we need to set up in our share. Uh, so we'll hop over to Houston now. So in Houston, in our file sharing tab here, uh, I've created this test share as we saw earlier. Um, I need to add some parameters to these, uh, which is just like the Spotlight parameters as well as uh, max basic parameters it needs to function. Um, so most of those parameters are just like defining the port number for Elasticsearch, the URL for Elasticsearch, and other things it needs like that. Um, now, like I talked about earlier with that config file we generated, um, I can point my storage directory here to the actual Samba share. So instead of this garbage directory, we'll point it to tank slash test and that'll be our um, actual point where this file system indexer will start indexing. I have mine set to run every five seconds. That's probably overkill. I'm just doing it for testing because I'm impatient. So we'll go ahead and get that running. And once we issue this command here, fs2es indexer daemon, uh, we basically just started a system file. 
So it's just going to run every five seconds, index any files that are in that directory. So we'll go back over to our Mac to see what this actually looks like from the Mac's perspective. So we can see here that our indexer has indexed 17 files that were present in that share at the time the indexer ran. So we're going to pop back into our Mac TeamViewer session here and go back to our search bar that wasn't working earlier. And now if we search for you know, calculating, we get the doc that I had in there called calculating, storage, no matches for storage, Ceph, and we can see all the Ceph docs I put in here as well. Um, so what we've done here is we've gotten full Mac file indexing um, without needing to generate a massive index file on every single one of your Macs. Um, so that's, as you can pretty much figure out, a huge advantage. So that's how to set up file indexing on Macs. As you can imagine, this is a great tool for like video editing studios or post-production people uh, who have very large directory trees that are very difficult to manage without some type of search function. Um, so, of course, you can imagine with this tool, that whole process is very streamlined. Um, so that's, that's pretty much it for this week. Uh, see you guys next time. I think Mitch might be doing his next Ceph video next time as well. <laughs>